So hi, I'm Sarah Dominguez. I'm a senior regional planner at SCAG or the Southern California Association of Governments. Um, and I like to tell my friends it's the government that most people didn't know that they had. Um, so with that, uh, Josie, next slide. So today I wanna to talk to you about Connect SoCal, which is Southern California's regional transportation plan and sustainable community strategy, which looks at how we coordinate land use and transportation investments across the six county region over the next 25 years. So my role at SCAG is to help figure out how we can reach our GHG or greenhouse gas emission reduction target set by the state, specifically GHG emissions from passenger vehicles. So today I won't and can't cover all the plan or even all of our GHG reduction strategies, but I wanna highlight a few opportunities that I'm most excited about. And when I talk about GHG, often we're interchanging this with VMT or vehicle miles traveled. So what we're really asking is how can the residents in our region drive less on average in the future than we do today, whether that's by making shorter trips, driving less often, or using other modes to get around like transit or walking. And there's a number of ways that we get to our target. Uh, the most significant come from uh, future land use decisions, transportation demand management, like teleworking, the projections for which are likely going to increase going forward because of COVID-19. You can say that this is the um, big gray slice there. So it's, those are all combined together because of the way that we model um, these strategies and the way that they're interrelated. Um, the biggest uh, reductions are also coming from our transportation investments, everything from uh, highway interchange improvement to new buses. Now, going back to what I said about VMT, many times while we were developing the plan, people would say, well, why do we need to think about VMT when we're gonna have electric vehicles and driving is gonna be clean and have no GHG um, associated? And well, you can see the number there on the left, um, a reduction of 1.62%. So one thing to know is that even if every new car sold today was electric, it would take at least a decade for the fleet to turn over and for all the cars on the road to be electric. So this just isn't enough to get us to the target, not to mention the cost barriers and the life cycle environmental costs of that many electric vehicles. So that brings me to some of the strategies and solutions that I'm most excited about, which can not only reduce GHG, but also improve the quality within the region because GHG and BMT also equate to time stuck in traffic and money spent to get around. So first is land use such as building more housing near job centers, especially affordable housing where there are a higher proportion of lower rates jobs or new policies such as the reduction of parking minimums in some areas to reduce the per unit cost of housing or redevelopment opportunities such as converting underperforming strip retail into housing that can help us make better use of land in the region. Next, this plan is doubling the active transportation investment from our last plan, which lets more people walk and bike, but more importantly, can improve the safety of those that already do. And so lastly, I just wanna impress upon you that we already have the tools to reduce GHG today, but we need the collaboration of those in the public and private sector to create new innovative policy solutions. And we need people like those of you on this call today to be vocal in supporting what you wanna see in your community so that our elected officials are empowered to then um, enact those policies. So sorry for rushing through it, <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you.